Hi there, everyone. Jeff C. here once again um, on Wednesday, October the 8th. And of course, reminding you all to tune in in about two hours from now on 9 p.m. on Red Pill Revolution's channel for We'll Do It Live, the Real Alternative Podcast. We'll, we'll be getting into depth uh, with all of what I've been covering and Red Pill's been covering and everybody else has, has been covering, dealing with uh, especially the whole Ebola PSYOP hoax. I firmly believe this is all being staged. I think it's been planned for a long time. I think uh, you can't trust anything at all that comes off the corporate media. Um, and I especially say you can't trust anything that comes off of Vice or even the alternative media, especially the alternative media who have been pushing the fear porn worse than anyone. I know the other day I made a video where I kind of gave um, somewhat of a compliment to Alex Jones for having a couple guests on which called it a hoax or a false flag. And I want to retract that fully and say I do not support anything uh, that, um, well, 90% of what uh, InfoWars has been putting out has been the fear porn, uh, amping it up, and I'm totally 100% uh, against that, so I want to make that clear. The green, of course, is something that I've been going on about a lot in my videos. This is not by mistake. If you look into mind control, you look into monarch programming, things like MK Ultra, colors are huge triggers, okay? They always have been. They always will be. We talk about it all the time in our podcast. Um, I talk about the color red, for instance, uh, being used in restaurants, uh, fast food places, um, in order to get you out of the restaurant quickly. They use all different things to unsettle you. It's all strategy. So this green color, this is the exact same green color that we're seeing, of course, with the Thomas Eric Duncan character, who is 100% uh, bullshit. The whole thing is bullshit. This guy is the former, um, uh, the former director of the Bank of America. He's also head of the Peace Corps over in Africa for uh, many years in several different countries. Uh, this guy is a government official. He's a worker. He is just a prop. There is nothing beyond his 2011 uh, Facebook with his last post. All his photos have him wearing this green shirt. And why is this green shirt so significant? Because it is all about programming your mind. Of course, the toxic colors that you think of when you think of green, right? Um, Ebola itself of course, comes in neon green when they put it under a microscope, right? And that's all by design. And if you don't believe me, if you think, well, Jeff, you're reading it too much into this, you know, you're seeing all this green stuff and you're going on about it. Take a look at this. Right here off of the rundown, which is PBS. Just another bullshit news outlet here, okay? PBS.org. What are they wearing over in Monrovia? I don't know, folks. What do you think? Ebola is real. Protect yourself. Even the, even the rakes are green. They're all wearing the same color. It's all by design. It's all a fear porn campaign. It's all fucking fake. Okay? And what is the one thing when we think of green? Think about it. When you think of movies, what do you think about when you think of green, right? When you think of newscasts, what do you think about when you think about green? Green screen, right? The green screen is the exact same color as this. This is how they code it for those that are illuminated as well. The green <laughs> it means it's not real. It's there to convince you, of course, that it is. That's why they have to have these characters wearing shirts like this, right? Ebola is real. Protect yourself. And they have these people probably going right throughout um, Liberia. And there's lots of reports saying pe there's nobody in the center of Monrovia that has Ebola. It's all fucking bullshit. And then, of course, you see the crowds that gather around when they, they, they have the, the actor on the ground playing the zombie, right, uh, who all of a sudden springs back to life. And it just happens that Dr. Richard uh, Besser, the former head <laughs> of the CDC, just happens to be there. And he just happens to be working for, what was it, NBC at that time or ABC? You know, I, they're all the same. It's all lies. They're using this to program your mind 
That's exactly what's going on. That's why you go from here to there to there. All right. The green screen means media fakery. That's what they do with green screen. They create things, right? And people say it all the time. They, they see the CNN and ABC reporters and they're saying, ah, it's a green screen. And they're probably right. Most of the time, you're probably right. But that's exactly why they're using this color. I mean, they're using it because it's the, uh, uh, the color of Ebola as they show it in their, you know, in their graphs and stuff like that, right? But it's also the color of media fakery, right? Without a doubt. And they use it to program you into convincing you that Ebola outbreak is real and these people are really dying and this is coming for you and you better get vaccinated. So, I just thought I should do one last video to really knock this thing home. I want you to help me. If you can find any more of this green stuff, please let me know. Any more uh, symbolism that you see that goes with this, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Um, and uh, I thank you all for listening. And hey, we're going to be doing it live in an hour and 45 minutes. So please tune in. Thank you so much for listening. Please share this video and make sure you sub the channel. Thanks a lot.